WebSockets are used to open a two-way communication session between a client and a server. In this video, we are going to use socket.io to create a WebSocket in a simple full-stack application with Node.js and Angular. So if you like this video, please consider subscribe to the channel. A link to the source code for this video will be in the description below. First, we have to initialize a Node application and create a server with Express. Then you have to install socket.io with the terminal. When it's done, import socket.io and create a new socket.io object just by calling the socket function with the express server as parameter. Now we can use the socket.io object to listen to connection from the client. But first, we have to define our type of connection. I created a connection.js file in a common folder and I exported it as an object that contained the name of each type of connection I'm going to use. So we have two web socket, one that will be used for the creation of a new user in the app and another one for the change of a username. Back in the index.js file, we imported the connection object from the connection.js file and now we can use the socket created by the connection to first listen to the change of a user and emit the change to all the clients. Then we listen to the creation of a new user and also emit this creation to all the client listening. That's all for the backend. On the Angular side, first install socket.io client and create a new socket.io service. Inside the service, import everything from socket.io client as socket.io, then create a client socket object. In the constructor, use socket.io to create a connection with the backend. Now we need a function to listen to the server. This function takes a connection as parameter and return an observable. So make sure you have Eric.js installed in your computer. This is the connection from the connection.js file we created before. Alright, in this function we want to return a new observable that will emit every data sent by the server depending on the type of connection. We can listen to the server but we also want to send some data through the socket. For that we need a new function that takes the data we want to send as parameter and also the type of connection so we will send the data through the right socket. Then we just have to use the client socket emit function. In the component I first started by creating an array of users and a variable used to assign a name to the new user. A user is basically just an interface that contains an ID to make sure that the user is unique and a label. Then in the constructor, I use the socket IO services to listen to the connection. When the server emits the change connection, it will automatically call the onChange function. And the onCreate function will be triggered when the server emits a create connection. On change, I only have to find the user in the user array and change the label. On create, I just have to push the user in the user array. Now I need a function to emit the creation of a user to the server. For that, I use the emit to server function from the socket IO service and pass the create connection type and the user object. For a user update, I basically do the same thing, but I send a change connection, the ID of the user to update and the new label. In the HTML, there is a button used to create a new user with the name in this input field. And below we have a loop on the list of existing user. There is another button used to update a user label. Now we can run the client and the server. As you can see, when I create a user on the left window, it automatically updates the right one. The same thing happens when I update a username. That's all for socket.io with Angular. Feel free to ask me any question, I will answer pretty quickly. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you made it so far. See you in the next one.